There he goes. There he goes again. God, Nunn looks ready. Looks like he's pumped. Nunn looks like he's actually sitting up there getting ready to watch this match. He looks like he's had yeah. half a pack he's of cigarettes, a yeah, cup of orange juice, <laughs> really, to three me, cups of coffee. To me, he looks like he just won a Game 5 nail biter. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Moki, so Moki remarked that, because we, we we actually watched, Moki was in NorCal when we watched Nunn play Dreffen the first time in Smash and Splash. Mm -hmm. And he remarked that he felt like Nunn's um, can be prone to tilting, especially when the opponent is using one option over and over that he feels like is spammy. Or, I mean, we've all seen him complain about Definitely. getting wobbled and all this stuff. Yeah. Right? So Moki theorized that perhaps there's an element of tilt that's going on when he plays Dreffen in particular sometimes mm -hmm. because, yeah. you know, Dreffen kind of beats you like that. Like Definitely. He finds like a thing that just kind of anno you know, annoys you to death in a way almost. Yeah. Um, that dynamic is interesting because Jeffrey, he's definitely like a, he's a poke and prodder. He's like, yeah. oh, is this annoying you? Is yeah, this annoying yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And you're like, yes, it's annoying me, Jeffrey. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. It'll be very, very interesting to see how Nun kind of plays around that. If you can beat, like with a, with a player like Jeffrey, if you can beat the spot dodge, for example, mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you stand a much better chance of beating him, I think, in the, in the rest of the set. Yeah. One really interesting thing, though, is as soon as you start beating the spot dodge, and, like, I'm giving Dreffen so much credit. I used to not give him any credit at all. I thought that he was just, like, new player number one. Big yeah. mistake. Who got real lucky. Yeah. But he's <laughs> actually thinking all the time. Yeah. yeah. And he's so, smart. So what he does when you start beating the spot dodge is he'll hold shield and then spot dodge a little later. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what? Nobody does that. They have, like, <laughs> rhythms and patterns on when they yeah. spot dodge. Most people are just buffering it. You can see he's, like, waiting, and he'll use his body, and he'll, like, spot dodge. <laughs> oh. He's trying to mix up the timings. It's, yeah. it's really interesting. Hey, it there's works. Prob there's probably something better to do than just spot dodging, but he'll he'll just think, I know I can make it work if I just change it up a little bit. Right, pure, right, right. Pure timing mix up. And he makes yeah. you. The, the nice thing about doing that actually is it makes you play his rock paper scissors game yes. instead of the one you're accustomed to. Right. right. And before we get too far into set, I also want to say that I do feel like Dreffen gets a little bit of a bad rap for not being technical because, Chad, you guys didn't get to see it, but we just saw Dreffen's warm up and he was actually doing some pretty slick platform movement. Yeah. I feel like people talk about Drevin like he hasn't made any adjustments to his tech skill in the last however many years. And that's definitely not true. Like, he's way cleaner, way, way, way cleaner than he was, you know, even probably like two or three years ago. Yeah. So. yeah. I actually think I would be willing to say he's very technical. I, I think that, like, he has the ability to do all of the, like, required high level tech skill at this point. He's yeah. amazing at ops attacking. He never misses a shield drop, as far as I can tell. Right. He's just very consistent with the things that he, he wants to do. Yeah, that's all it is. His ledge dashes are good, you know? Out of shield's pretty good. Wow, that was the craziest four to mm -hmm. One thing too that you'll see Dreffen do in this matchup in particular is he'll he'll do a lot of walking. Um, I feel like a lot of Sheiks get caught up dash dancing and trying to whiff punish, but oh. what Dreffen is doing, he's wa he's walking so that he can react with tilts or shield out of that. To stuff the Falcon, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. I think that's better than, or at least more reliable than whiff punishing against Falcon. Mm -hmm. Falcon has a lot of ways to make himself hard to whip punish. Jeez, good read there on that. Walking is an underused tactic in melee. Like, duck loves to do it. Yeah, and uh, the other side is. I don't walk enough. Really? Yeah, I don't. Oh. I wave dash uh, in a certain direction. Uh, I see, typically. Dreffin yeah. could die here. Forwards, forwards, right? See. Yeah, yeah. 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 Always yeah. forward. Yeah. 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 Should be dead here. Should yeah. be dead. Sheik has no chance of recovering, really. But that's why we might see Dreffin switch to Zelda. Because Zelda might have a chance. Yes. <laughs> that's <laughs> he's pushing uh, he's pushing the meta ginger. Yeah. If there's one thing I just really don't want him to do, it's switch to the, the, the no, Zelda yeah. thing. So that was great. Oh, Dreffin's throw combos are the cleanest I've ever seen on Falcon. I think that um he does a lot of things that only I see Mute King doing, which is like if they DI in, he goes for the chain grab. The re-grab, yeah. Yeah, he, he pushes them farther and farther out to the side of the platform so he can get a runoff there, and then he's very consistent at edge guarding. So like he builds up the damage, he gets the position, he hits them off stage, and then he edge guards. It's like a pretty simple flow chart, but it works out really well. Yep, that's excellent, yeah. None here with a really good spot, obviously. Two good edge guards so far. Drops, he gets the really weak back here. Oh, ooh, yeah. wow, well placed up here. It should be a kill. Reverse knee. No, good Four DI. one, doesn't matter too much. He has a chance to poof onto the platform here. Mm. Oh. attack to the back air. That was something that we saw a lot in their first set, so it's yeah. interesting to see that None was immediately ready for that. Right. 
Suppressed technical, like is, said. Is he better off not Omsi teching? There, none got the weak up air. So I think if he just DI'd in, Dreffen wouldn't have gone that far. And it would have been better for sure. I believe maybe he could have even done the um, the slide off DI and Ooh. then fastball the ledge. Because it was, oh, okay. Especially yeah. because it was weak, yeah. 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 It's kind of funny how the Omsa tech is kind of almost going out of style. I'm not going to yep. say it's still very important, but... The meta is revolving. Yeah. Like, I, the, like I, the world. I still think Treffin has a shot to smash. Yep. I oh, think so, too. Double hit. Yeah, he needs one clean tech chase here. Yeah. He can, he can definitely open this up. Ooh, I shielded for a little too long there. Yeah. Good tomahawk by yeah. none there. The thing Dreffin. is, I don't think that Dreffin wanted a spot dodge there, either, because none had read it the stock before. Right. It's scary when Falcon's short hopping on you. Yeah. yeah. That's like oh, one yeah. time yeah. you probably don't want to spot dodge, even if you're dreffing. Mm -hmm. You could wave he could have wave dashed the ledge there. That would have been a pretty that's decent true. I was actually thinking about what he should have done. That's that's amazing actually. Because I was thinking, what it, well he could nair out a shield and it's like, well Falcon's at zero, you're just gonna get counter hit every time. He was yeah. still in in one too. Yep. So yeah. Well, that situation so it was like when he rolls, nope. Where where none is pressuring him on the edge, I feel like it's gonna be half of these this entire set because Dreffen has no problem just sitting under a side platform and, and basically mute kicking it. Right. Get him, Tove. Tove just killed an insect on the carpet. Nice. What was it? It was like a weird looking beetle thing. Yeah, it was a small or little beetle. Something. Thing. I, I don't think know. it was a ladybug. Wow. No, it's oh, not a ladybug. Wow, no, no, it was a weird Wow, weird I'm looking, looking at it, dude. No, That's dude. That's messed up. It looks like that because I stepped on it. It's all mangled now. You're looking at it through your shades, though. <laughs> yeah, so, and through your shades. So it, it was a beetle. You stepped on it so hard it became a ladybug, is what yeah. I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's, how you, That's how ladybugs are all right? Shit. <laughs> So this is actually, that was oh. a really good adaptation for Nun. That all started because Dreffen has been ledge dash shielding every single time he's ledge dashed, and Nun just run up grabs the next time. It was actually really, really smart. Excellent. Oh, Needles oh, wow. into the dash tag. That was dope. Yeah. This should be the stock, but he actually flubs. Okay. Covers it anyway. Yeah, That's the cheek. <laughs> should we mess up? Kind of is the cheek, yeah. in a way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh -oh. Stomps above the fair. Nun is oh, interesting. honestly destroying him off the ledge here. Yeah. And these platforms oh. work out for Falcon, as we know. Goes for a spot dodge down smash. Wasn't turned in the correct direction. I just died here. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. He's going to have to push again. Oh, oh no. Messes it up. Interesting. Good gentleman to get him out of there, though. Uh -huh. but it, did, it looked like he, he like, uh, le like auto-canceled his knee or something. Oh, <laughs> like an aerial, aerial, aerial interrupt. Yeah. 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 Ah. But he turned back, which is the important thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank God he turned back. <laughs> yeah. God. The rest of the match would have been Zelda. None would have never let him switch. Uh, yeah. Dreffen was saying that Ty is his coach for this tournament, but the only thing that Ty needs to coach him on is to tell him not to turn into Zelda. Yeah. But they play they play friendlies all the time, and he'll turn into Zelda, and Ty will be like, don't turn into Zelda. But he always has some justification, like, well, you know. Uh, <laughs> so you're saying Dreffen is like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. We're... <laughs> It, do, he's the Dr. Jekyll part, which is like, you know, oh, I know I shouldn't turn into Zelda and all this, and then he's got the Mr. Hyde part, which is like, no, turn into Zelda. <laughs> yeah. It'll help you recover. <laughs> 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 Amazing edge cancel there by Nun, helping recover. He was oh. super dead. Nun, yeah. needs, Nun needs to relax trying to hit him when he's invincible on the ledge there. Yeah, that's that's feeling himself a little too much. Definitely if, feeling if it's a himself. Chic. Obviously with a lot of ways to keep himself safe. Off tech. That was a nice off tech. Yeah. Yep. Rolling towards center stage too. Yeah. Dreffin just holding still. Oh, what a stomp. Yeah. You gotta be careful on FOD, man. Like, yeah, it's very tempting to go for tilt through the platforms, because they can hit, mm -hmm. but stomp can hit you too. Oh, what are you doing? Miss Gentleman. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. <laughs> Miss Gentleman. Miss Sheik. He's going to. Oh, I thought oh, he was going to wow. try an up smash. So good to not just back air grab. He threw the jab in there to make sure it connected. Because that could have been punished. Oh. oh yeah. DI mix up. Stripped up the DI there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's basically a 5 0 since yesterday. That's true. It's been 5 unanswered. 5 so, unanswered. Yeah. But maybe this is the reverse 3 0 from Dreffen's side. Reverse 3 0 on a reverse 5 0? Yeah. Damn, wow. It could be. Dreffen. If there's one man to do it, it's him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got a lot of good stuff he's doing for sure. I just want to see him be a little bit more mobile. I feel like Nunn has a read on his kind of stationary style where he yeah. just sits there and needles and forward tilts and spot es dodges. Yeah, especially on FOD. I actually think FOD is not great because yeah. of how good of a job Nunn's been doing stomping the tilt. Baiting the tilt through yeah. the platform and then stomping. If you're on Dreamland, maybe I agree, but... Yeah. I actually right. was about to mention that uh, Dreffen's first counterpick yesterday, I believe, when he lost, was actually Yoshi's story. Yoshi's it didn't story. work out. Then he went to Fountain and then lost maybe even worse there. So yeah. it's interesting to see him try this again. He's got a tech chase here. 
these jab resets. Dreffen actually just lost the mix-up on the jab resets like all three times. It was at the end of the last match where he, he jab jabbed and then like waited, and then uh, Nun smashed the eye the second time and then didn't the third time. <laughs> Crazy. Just kind of unlucky. Oh my goodness. That's nice recovery. Oh! oh Should have had it. So Dreffen special. Yeah. I feel the, like he charged it. The oh. problem there is that um, Falcon, most characters don't actually have feet hurt boxes, but Falcon is actually quite a bit higher than most other characters. So uh, in that spot on Yoshi's story on the side platform, most other characters would get hit by that up smash or even get shield poked by that up smash, but Falcon's feet are actually raised quite a bit higher. Uh, so okay. More you know. You can probably still get it if he's still in the tech roll animation. Yes. Once he hits yep. standing, which he was, yeah, it's not going to connect anymore. Yeah, exactly. And uh, uh, just another interesting thing about that, when Falcon is dash dancing on the side platforms or just dash dancing at all, he's actually hovering above the ground. Wow. So it's even oh. harder to hit him with anything. <laughs> so he's never he's actually... Floating. He's floating. Right. He's a wizard, you're telling me. Yes. Wow. Holy shit. It all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> he's Doctor Strange. He's Doctor Strange. <laughs> Ooh, big read. Randall. That was a very smart recovery oh. from Dreffen. I will say, I, th I think that both of these guys are actually incredible at recovering with both of their characters. I think that Dreffen is very high level with his recoveries. And I think the same for Nun. Oh, wow. wow. Sick edge guard. Nun is really hard to edge guard at times. Nun, yeah, Nun is really hard to edge guard. I have a really tough time with it. I, I want to say it's like playing <laughs> a dunk that's good. In other we'll see words. Behind every great Falcon is Dunskis. Because dunks spade backs. Yeah. It's oh. like uh, oh. Oh. Uh, six degrees of Kevin Bacon, but it's degrees to, to, to dump space. Dump space. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like Wizzy, it's like three or whatever. Oh, the reverse nair, did he touch the ground? He didn't. Wow. Yeah, no DI either. <laughs> yeah, you kind of don't expect that at a very kooky uh, edge guard. Oh, forward smash, he's flubbing. Another bit. flub. On the verge of elimination here. Oh. Wow. Uh, he's got a read on all his approaches. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, I think, I think Dreffen's realizing that he can't just stay stationary like he has, and he's trying to approach, but then Nun's turning it around and, and being the better wall again. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This, this is time. This is it. Yes. Uh, oh. Yes, oh, Dreffen. Oh, oh, geez. Uh, probably he's staying back. Zelda? Oh my God. Down smash. Oh. Uh, he could have actually had idea. something with that down air too. Here we go. What Here we grab? go. Forward air. Oh. Oh, he's, this is a terrible uh, idea. <laughs> Dreffen was actually telling me that uh, Zelda's worst matchup is Falcon. So. Interesting. Rough. Well, he gave him the yeah, good yeah. luck in bracket. Good, good sportsmanship. Yeah. yeah. Dreffen went out the way he lived, playing Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where that was going. Yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> God, good stuff. Good stuff. Man. No. Yeah. Congratulations to yeah. staying alive in the tournament. And. Uh, I don't know, demonstrating adaptation, I guess, because yeah. For, yeah. For, a, for a while that, that looked like a tough matchup for him. Mm -hmm. oh, man. That said, he so made it look pretty easy. We had a bit of an old man set. Now it's time for a young man set. Young man set. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, huh? So the yeah. young foxes are going let's upstairs. Bring it into, yeah. Let's bring it into the 90s, the 1990s here. 1990s. Yeah, uh, yeah all of us born guns. in the 1990s, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Wait were you guys actually born in the 1990s? I, I yeah. figure a lot of people are. Are yeah, you guys? Yeah, we are. We are. Yeah, yeah, we're born in the 1990s. Yeah. 91. Yeah, 91. <laughs> no. 91, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> right, Hugo? You go 90. Yeah. You're 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 92. 92. There you go. <laughs> yeah. This is your birthday recently, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, What's up? What's up, dude? Ready for some foxes? Oscar, you're 28? Yeah. Jesus. What's up? Who's my 80s kids out in the chat? I saw, uh, <laughs> I saw you get dunked yeah. on by a chillin' dude. Chillin' <laughs> dunked on you? He, he, he did. He posturized. No, they were dunking. Each of them were dunking. Oh, okay. I think dunking on someone means they're trying to defend. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, right. what I was assuming. Yeah. 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 Hugo. He dunked with no, him. he got dunked on, dude. They dunked <laughs> together. <laughs> How about this? You and Zane can both try and block me. Wow. Oh, oh okay. big man. Oh, I'm gonna, you're going to dunk over me? Wow. <laughs> Very impressive, Zane. man. You're so sick. You can lift Zane up. <laughs> you can lift Zane up. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, uh, what? Ooh. This is now what? It Monkey. was a 6-0 six -oh, six streak. No, I'm talking about. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, six, six, oh. six unanswered from none. Damn. Including yesterday. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's kind of sad that they had to play again. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think either of them wanted it, but yeah, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. There's a there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of intermingling in the Swiss 
pool, so it's kind of hard to avoid every <coughs> matchup. Mm -hmm. right. Especially because we're playing so many sets. It's yeah. like, if each person out of 16 people plays five sets, it's like, you have to have a couple rematches. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty likely, yeah. Especially c considering, like, the more sets you play, the more you gravitate towards people who are going to be the same seed as you going into the final bracket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know?